Hello everybody out there, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you 10 healthy living hacks for busy people. So many of us are very busy and it can be helpful to have a handful of strategies on ways that we can still continue to lead very healthy lifestyles and prioritize the things that matter to us even while we're really busy. So today's tips are designed to help us achieve exactly that. I've got some nutrition and some food tips to share with you as well as some lifestyle tips and strategies as well. And let's get started. Meal prep. I know it can feel like meal prepping itself we don't really have time for, but it doesn't have to take long. I know for myself personally, I just prefer to keep the meals that I make Simple, food can still be totally delicious with just a few ingredients. And of course, it is um, a little bit quicker to prepare. Weekends are great opportunities for whipping up a couple of great you know, foods to have prepped in the fridge for really quick meals and snacks. Roasted chicken and veggies, even some boiled eggs can be really handy. Chopped carrot sticks. But if you have a slow cooker, this is also fantastic for either doing kind of overnight breakfast recipes or, um, like having dinner ready for you later on in the evening. I do have a meal prep video. If you want to check it out, I'll leave it linked below. It's here on my channel. Uh, but I will be filming another meal prep video very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. I also have a video up on my grocery kind of staples, items that I always like to have on hand from the grocery store uh, that I shared in my previous video. So you might want to check that out as well for some just great staple foods to always have on hand to make your life a lot easier. If you are really, really busy and finding it hard to get in nutritious meals regularly, multis are a great way to help to cover your nutritional bases. Of course, supplements cannot and do not replace a healthy lifestyle, but they are a great option if you do need that extra support. I recommend that you opt for whole food derived formulas, like the ones from uh, New Chapter, they make a really good one, Mega Food and Whole Earth and Sea by um, Natural Factors is a good option too. Those are just a few of my favorites, but there's many out there. Smoothies are a classic, really great, super quick way to get a huge boost of nutrition into our days that doesn't take long and you can just throw things together into your blender, whip it up and you're good to go. Also great for if you're on the go. All you need is some frozen fruit, maybe a leafy green, hemp seeds has a good dose of protein. You also wanna have a good fat source in your smoothie too for some blood sugar stabilization and you're good to go. You've got a really quick kind of breakfast meal. Number four is to get your groceries delivered. There are so many food delivery programs out there nowadays that deliver farm fresh goodies and produce right to your door each week or whenever you would like them to deliver it. This may be a great option for you if you just feel like you need to take a bit of a load off of your shoulders, if you're finding that you're really, really busy and can't always make it to the store on a regular basis. Uh, so this is definitely a very good option. There's lots of companies out there. There's Fresh City Farms here in Toronto, Mama Earth Organics also in Toronto, Food Share. Even grocery stores nowadays, like Instacart, like there's a lot of grocery stores that are now uh, offering food delivery services too. So keep that in mind and that may be really useful for you. It's really easy for us to say that we don't have time to exercise and a great way around this if you, you know, you don't really have time to join a sport or if you're not overly athletic is to just add in different kinds of physical activities into your day um, that can be added in sort of very seamlessly. Walking instead of driving, if this is possible, depending on where you're going. Taking the stairs instead of the elevator, again, if this is possible, depending on what you're doing. Lifting groceries, carrying children, um, and even if possible, um, standing at your desk a little bit more frequently or, or just getting up from your desk every once in a while to just move around and walk around a little bit. Little amounts of movement add up over time and it's important to remember that. Learning new things is one of the best ways for us to support our brain health and our cognitive health and to develop new neurological pathways and to keep ourselves mentally sharp. If you're wondering how exactly you can do this and kind of fit this into your day-to-day -day life, especially if you feel like things like reading a book just isn't really feasible for you right now, then hands down one of the best 
life hacks for this is an app called Blinkist. So this is an app that essentially distills down the most important points or you know pertinent information from thousands of books um, into about 15 minutes or so for you to read or listen to. It's all non-fiction, everything from self-improvement to philosophy, science, psychology, motivation. In the morning is fantastic to listen to for a little boost of inspiration or in the evening, but you know, definitely for making use of things like commuting time. So if you are driving, if you're on the bus, if you're on the train, um, or any other time that you just feel like you can squeeze in a little bit of you know, something to learn or to improve a skill. I wanna take a moment to thank Blinkist for sponsoring today's video. And the first 100 people that go to Blinkist.com slash Megan will get unlimited access for one week to try it out. It's completely free, you can cancel at any time. And if you do want the full membership, you can get 25% off. So I will leave a link for you below. Even if it's just five minutes, everybody has at least a couple of minutes each day to just stop for a moment and take a breath and actually focus on your breath. This here is one of the most effective ways for us to take a moment to calm down our nervous system. When we are very, very busy, a lot of times we're also simultaneously feeling a little bit overwhelmed and our shoulders can get really tense and we can breathe very shallow. Even just right now, take a moment to just focus on your breath, take a long, slow, deliberate inhale and exhale. And this is what's really gonna help you to relax, center yourself, calm down your nervous system. And lastly, evaluate where you're spending most of your time. Are you doing a lot of scrolling on social media? Are you watching a lot of TV? Are you getting sucked into viral video land? Um, really evaluate where you're spending a lot of your time and I bet you, you do have more time in your day than you realize. Often we feel so, so busy and we feel like we have a lot on our plates and we do, we definitely do, a lot of us do. Um, but sometimes when we take a moment to really evaluate where we're spending our time, we can realize, oh, you know, I am spending quite a few minutes doing these sorts of things that aren't really adding value to my life. And if I just shift my focus a little bit, I can either free up time entirely, or I can spend that time doing things that can bring me joy or can help me to relax. Try one day of the week, jotting down how much time you're spending on certain activities. And on that note, I do wanna point out here too, before I end this video, to give yourself permission to say no to things sometimes that just don't bring value to you or if there are things that you just don't really wanna do but you're kind of feeling pressured to do it, you don't always have to do those things. Of course, sometimes, yes, we do need to do things that we don't always want to do, but a lot of the times we don't. So I hope that you found these tips helpful and you've learned a thing or two. If you have any questions or if you have anything to share on the topic of being really busy but still managing to lead a healthy lifestyle as much as possible, then I would love to hear from you. Leave your comments below. I also have a number of resources for you to check out in the description box below too. And I will see you all very, very soon.